I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you one more project that you can make with my dress template. It's this adorable little lip balm holder and we'll be using the 2016-2018 in color paper stock as well as the matching ruched ribbon and we'll also be using the layering circles framelits and they come both in the smooth circles and the scallop circles. This little lip balm holder is really cool. We're going to make two dresses and then a little box that goes in the center here and it holds a regular size lip balm and it just slides in and out like that. And I think these would make really cute favors. So I've already made one in Sweet Sugar Plum and Dapper Denim. So today I thought we would make one in Emerald Envy. So let's get started. So I've got my Big Shot here and I've got my platform already on here. I'm going to put down a cutting plate first and I have here some 2016-2018 in color paper and I've cut two squares of paper to three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And because this paper is thin enough, I'll be able to cut two pieces at once. So I've just got these two pieces stacked and I'm going to put them right onto my cutting plate. And then we're going to be using the scallop circles from the layering circles framelits. And I'm going to need the largest scallop circle. And that should just fit on your three and a quarter inch square perfectly. So just center it on there and then put one more cutting plate on top and then run it through. Then you're going to have these outer pieces which you can throw out and you're going to have two scallop circles which you're going to use with the dress template. So here is the dress template and I showed you how to make this dress template in a previous video tutorial. So if you'd like to see how to make it just click down below here and this link down here will be clickable and it will take you right to the point in the video where you can see how to make this template. Once you have your template made all you need to do is trace it onto the scallop circle and I'm just going to take a pencil and trace on my my dress and those are the lines that I'm going to cut on later. Don't forget to trace the little V on there on top and then I'm going to do the same with my other circles. You just need to trace that right on to your scallop circle. So we're done with the template and now all we need to do is just cut out our dress. And there you go. Both of the dresses are cut out and you can get rid of the scraps. And then you can set these aside for later once you have your box completed. To make the box, you're going to need a piece of cardstock and I've cut a matching one in Emerald Envy cardstock here. And I've cut this piece to three and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. Then you're just going to put the three and three quarter inch side up at the top and you're going to score at the three quarter inch mark, the one and a half inch mark, the two and a quarter inch mark, and the three inch mark. Then you're going to rotate your piece of cardstock 90 degrees, and then you're just going to score at the three quarter inch mark. And that's all we're gonna do on that side. You can put your Simply Scored away. So now, I'm going to hold this up to the light a little bit so you can see it. You've got some longer rectangles and then you've got squares at the bottom. So you're going to take the corner square and you're going to cut it away to start off with. Okay, and then you're going to cut in between all these squares on the bottom just till you hit the first score line. like that. So you can see that all the little squares have been cut away. Then you're going to fold this piece along all the score lines. And all these bottom tabs need to be folded as well. Then you're going to take some Tombow 
And this end piece right here that has the missing square at the bottom, this is going to be our tab piece. You're going to bring this together and line it up with the other side so that it overlaps. And then I'm just going to hold it down for a few seconds to make sure I've got a good seal on it. And then you're going to bend down your first tab and put a little bit of Tombow on that. And then I like to take the opposite side and bring it down so it's together. And then you've just got two more pieces to glue. So I'm going to put glue on the bottom and fold that down. I'm taking my finger on the inside and providing a little pressure so that they're sticking down properly. And then just one more side needs to be glued down like that. Maybe better to take your longest finger. Okay, there you go. And now you have your finished box and then you can bring in your dress pieces. And I'm just going to put Tombow down the box like that on one side. And then I'm just going to line up my dress piece on there. Make sure it's straight. If you want, check on the back and see how it looks from the back. Make sure it looks like it's centered and that looks good. And then on the opposite side, you're going to put Tombow down the box and do the same. This one's a little easier to line up because you can kind of look through and see to make sure it's lined up with the other piece that's below it. Now that looks good. Then you can decide which of the two sides you like better for the front. And I'm going to use that one for the front. And then we're going to need some of this Emerald MV Rouge ribbon. And I love that all of the 2016-2018 in colors have matching ruched ribbon. So you could actually make this dress in five different colors. I've made it in three different colors. So I'm going to cut about an eight inch piece. So I'm going to use the bunny ear method to tie this ribbon. So I take two loops and I tie them into a knot. like that. And then what I do is I go back and forth and I make the little loops a little tighter. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the ends right now. Like that. Then all we need is a glue dot and they're right on here. And I'm just going to press my the knot of my bow right onto a mini glue dot and lift off. And then I can just add that right to here. And there you go. You've got a cute little lip balm holder in the shape of a dress. So I just want to show you all how they all look together. I think it will look fabulous if you did them in all the in colors. I've just done them in three. But then I also did them with the a different pattern of paper. And I think it looks just as cute with this floral paper that comes with the in color paper stack as it does with the polka dots. So aren't those just absolutely adorable? Horrible. All the supplies you'll need to make these awesome dress lip balm holders are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now!